with sound mind. How, what does a sound mind mean? It means you have to be wise. Many times we, we break the bridges. We are too harsh. We attack Islam. And the walls go up. Even if the person is not committed Muslim, they, they just defend themselves. We have to be wise. We have to have the right strategy. We have to work where God is working. But to having the uh, right strategy, let me give you a few things that we make in the West, we make mistakes. There are several things they think about Islam. Uh, Islam thinks about Christianity. Oh yeah, they believe in three gods. Or they're blasphemers. They raise Jesus, a man, to be God. So this is what I do. When I uh, talk to a Muslim before, before they bring it up, I bring it up. Before they say God is one, I say, hey, I believe God is one. Really? You're a Christian? You believe in God? So, yes. Before they say it, I say, God is one. And before they say it, I say, it is a blasphemy to raise up a common man to be God. Oh, who, so what do you think about Jesus? I said, Jesus is not a man who became a God. And we don't believe he was a man that, that we, we love him so much we think he's God. No, when we go to the Old Testament, when we go to God's promises, it's God who came after us. I'm going to get to that just a little bit later. It's a simple message of how to share the gospel with them. But use the right strategy. And one strategy is uh, don't argue. Don't argue. Islam is not a matter of thinking. Muslims are not allowed to think, are not allowed to question their faith. It's when they get to that, they panic. What I do instead of a battle of minds, I go for the heart. I go for the thirst they have for peace, for joy, and for God himself. Another thing I say, tell them, because they think, oh, I'm a Christian, I try to be, make him a Christian. We're up front, I'm not here to make you a Christian. Relax, let's learn about each other's faith. I want to hear about yours, and I want to share, so we can know about each other. At, at that spirit of relaxation, they are more open to the gospel than, oh, this Christian, or this pastor, or, oh, they want to get me to church, oh, they want to make you Christian, make them relaxed. Now, working where the Holy Spirit is working, Holy Spirit is working in the hearts of Muslims. Not all of them are radicals. Radical Muslims are just small percentage of Muslims. They're true Muslims, by the way. They're committed Muslims. We call them radical, but it's better to call them committed. True Muslims are radicals because the Quran is radical. Then most of Muslims are moderate. They're like lukewarm, if you bring it to Christianity, lukewarm Muslims, nominal Muslims. There are Muslims by name. They're not truly, truly following Islam. If they were truly following Islam, they would be the radicals, I assure you. But then there are third kind. These are people who have kind of rejected Islam in their heart, and Islam is a non-issue for them. They have become a lot secular, and they say Islam is not for me, or I have my own kind of Islam, I believe, in my heart. And there are a growing number of them. Listen, there are a growing number of Muslim people who are becoming militant against Islam. These are Muslims by name, but they're saying Islam is not the way. Islam is the problem. I need to get rid of Islam, not just in my life, but in my country. Those numbers are growing. So you have to find out what kind of Muslim are you talking to and work accordingly. Never bring Christianity and Islam face to face. Never bring Jesus and Muhammad face to face. Actually, these are the lines of thinking that I do when I preach, when I share the gospel. I say, Christianity is not a religion. If you, that's a good, good sentence. If you're looking for a religion, Islam, what you have is good, but it hasn't done anything for you. And another lie, don't become, Christ, don't become a religious Christian, I tell them. What they say? I said, no, don't become a religious Christian. Christianity as a religion is really hard, actually impossible. In, in Islam, you may have to pray five times a day, but then in Christianity, you have to pray all the time. And even if you think bad thoughts, you, the, the God has, you have sinned in your mind. So it, it is really hard. So wh why do you say that? Because 
Jesus did not come to bring us a new religion. He came to give us salvation. And this is my invitation. If you're after religion, which really doesn't do any good for you, it just gives you some rules, then there are so many. Go, go choose one. If you're looking for a prophet or a messenger in, uh, in Muslims believe, I mean, the word prophet and the messengers are, this, are the same. If, you, if you're looking for messengers, there's so many messengers. But what does message do for you? But when you're ready for a savior, Jesus is there. Jesus is there. He's the only one who said, I'm the savior of the world. He never said, I am here to bring you a new religion. And be creative. Be creative. Know how to do it.